Hi everyone! This is going to be a really, really quick periscope. Really, really quick. Someone just spontaneously invited me to go to the gym. I haven't been going, so I said yes, you guys. So, <laughs> really, really quick. So I'm going to get into it really quick. So my name is Quinn, like Dr. Quinn, and my motto is to connect, to educate, and inspire. No. Oh, and by the way, I don't have time for any trolls on here, so if you guys say something that's off, I'm just going to have to block you, team block. But that's me. Hi, Eric. Hi, hi, hi. If it's your first time here, you can go ahead and announce your name and where you're from, and any comments that I'm not acknowledging right now just ahead of time, I always look back and, um, and read them, okay? So I do read them, okay? So don't feel bad about me ignoring you or anything like that, but this is going to be a really quick scope because Natalie, Eric. Oh, hi, Eric. Eric, I know who you are. Um, Natalie invited me to go to the gym, so um, I'm going to have to meet her up in like five minutes, and the gym is right behind my house, so hey, all good. But I wanted to talk about pain, and I was really inspired by, if you guys know, who you guys know who Les Brown is, look him up. He's amazing. Sacramento, Francisco. Hi, John. Love seeing all of you guys here. Hey, we got 12 people on, and it's late. So I wanted to talk about pain. And Les Brown was talking about, you're going to experience pain no matter what. Where is my notes? But, um, so a lot of people, they're afraid of change because they don't want to experience kind of rejection or trying something and then failing. Like, they fear that so much that they'd rather just be and not, oh, thank you, Francisco, and not um, moving in that direction. People are so scared of change, of the pain that they'll experience because you're diving into something new and uh, the unknown. Woo, yes, and that means you need some deep healing, right? Okay, I had my notes here, you guys, sorry. But if you look up on YouTube, look up Les Brown, be courageous, be fearless. Thank you. Thank you for all the feedback. Sorry, I wrote all of this stuff down. Where did it go? Sorry, you guys. Um, but so there's two kinds of um there's two kinds of pains, right? Yes. I was actually listening to the whole entire thing. Sometimes I catch some of it, but yeah, thank you for the hearts. I love it. So, which kind of pain would you rather have? The pain of regret? Saying that you wish you did, or the the growing pains. No, I'm not. Oh, I know. It says Dr. Quinn, right? <laughs> um, it says Quinn like Dr. Quinn because you know it's spelled in it's a Vietnamese spelling. People don't know how to say it. Thank you very much. Yes, and I want to be a motivational speaker and inspirational speaker. Um, I do. Um, anyways, I'll talk about that later. Right. So with those growing pains, knowing that it's going to be worth it. And it's part of the process. You guys, I was so inspired the other day. I was visiting these two um, real estate agents that I used to work for. And I was watching her train her team. And she was like, you know what? You guys are all your own business. I'm here to give you some tools. But I'm not going to hold your hand and babysit you. That's not my job. You know, she is, she's extremely successful. She's willing to be the, to, and to catch them before they drop dead on the floor, you know. But she said, you know what, figure it out. And I want you guys to experience this. So, because if, when you guys mess up, you guys will know the value of doing something right. And you won't do that mistake ever again. And I'm doing this because of tough love, right? Because she wants them to have thick skin in the game. So, okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing. But, um, so... Just really think about that. You're going to experience pain either way. If you're not... Okay, so... Block party. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I usually just let them disappear. Okay, you guys are funny. Okay, let's stay on this topic. But really, you know... Um, so, regardless whether... Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you for all the love. See, that's why I don't have to worry about the trolls. <laughs> But, um, I know I, I usually have my notes in front of me so I can keep track, but, you know, imagine that you lived your life already. You know, when you look back, a lot of the times they did a survey on this, you know, with the elderly, they asked, what is it that you can change? You know, what is that one lesson you can give to everyone else? And they was like, you know what? I regret not taking a chance. Thank you. 
No, I just wanted to inspire you guys, you know, because there's so, I see so many potential with a lot of people, but they just want to be cooped up in their shell. They, they want to play it so safe that they don't get hurt. But at the same time, they're still experiencing pain of just seeing, mm -hmm. not seeing anything improve in their life. If you want improvement, you're going to have to go out there and know that you're going to get hurt out there, but it's going to, to help you become a better person. And that's just so much worth it because... You never know who you can meet. You never know all these profound experiences that can help somebody else. So that's why, right? We're going to experience pain either way. So which one would you rather have? Pain of regret or pain of staying the same and not having whatever that you're, you are right now. Do you want it to, to stay there forever or do you want it to be better? And notice when you're not moving, when you're not progressing, that's when you're unhappy because you're not progressing. And you're just sticking to the same mundane of life and you're just so scared of getting hurt. But guess what? You're in pain regardless, right? The pain of regret is painful, you guys. How many, I mean, for some of us that, you know, that are still unhappy, you know, before you end your life, do you really want to look back and say, you know what? I wish I did that. What was wrong with me? I wish I just pushed myself a little bit more. I wish I just stepped out of my comfort zone just a, just a little bit more because you're looking back and you're like, wow, I didn't really do much. I just kept on staying inside of my bubble. That is scary to me. That's really scary to me. I want to know that I've done ex everything that I could have done to become a better person. All right. What time is it? So I got two minutes. Not so bad, right? And you guys feel free to chime in. <sighs> but what encouraged me also to get on if so if I see potential in you you would step out of your safe safe zones I mean I am not here for any of that again you guys just a pre-warning if you guys are not here for that I'm just gonna do like a little block 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 party I'm seeing a lot of people just not having time for that I'm just gonna like thank you so much and where are you guys from how do you know when you've gone too far with taking chances so, hmm, it depends. Going too far with what? I think as long as you're taking yourself on a chance to go to a certain direction, you're supposed to be learning every, sing every single time. See, I lost my train of thought. I'll get better at this, I promise. But um, if you're taking steps towards where you want to be, you can never go too far because you're supposed to learn every single time, right? And that's why that real estate agent, when she was talking about it, when you make a bad mistake, you learn not to make it again and you find better ways to do it. Does that answer your question? I took a chance and went to jail. Well, taking a chance to do what? Was it, obviously, was it a negative? <laughs> it was something negative. I'm talking about taking changes to go towards a positive, more towards a positive life. Yeah, that's way too far. Right? If you keep on doing something that you know that's not good, that's illegal, you know, guess where it's going to go? But if you're taking steps towards something positive, you're that's growing pains. Champions take chances if you can't win, you don't show up. Yes. If you repeat your mistakes in different ways of trying, wouldn't you register as being insane? But insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and getting nowhere and expecting a different result. So this is, this is another topic. You need to have a mentor to guide you. When you're going somewhere, you need some, you need to follow someone that has that success already. That's something that you need to do. So you know that you're just not going in there blindly. Right? So for an example, when I went by to visit these two realtors, they have the success. That's why their team is following them. They're just giving them like bullet points, tools for their success. But they want them to have growing pain. So they're like, you know what? I'm going to let you guys figure it out. It's not my job to babysit you guys. You guys are each responsible. You know, if you take a step, I'll take a step with you. If you take five steps, we'll take step uh, five steps with you guys. But that's their success. What works for the moment for you. So with anything, there's a system, right? Of course, you have your own personality. You have your own different ways of learning. That's why you figure it out yourself, right? But there's some bullet points, things that they've done in that proven system in real estate that's worked out. I'm, yeah, I'm on the way to being there, you know, so as, as being an entrepreneur, you know, being in business, there were 
uh, many times that I had to speak in front of people. And so it started from a small group to a bigger group to a bigger group and other people asking me to speak. So um, that is something that I realized, you know what, like there's just something different when you're able to speak life into people and say something and just by being yourself and just sharing your experiences, having people come up to you and you thanking you. Like, I think it's just so rewarding. And, you know, and back then I thought I was, I was, I really thought my life was just going to be working for somebody else for the rest of my life because that's what I was surrounded with. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Yesterday I hit 60,000. No, today I hit 60,000. No, last night, last night, 60,000. So, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. <gasps> Thank you. You know what? Um, they had one that just passed this year and I didn't know that you can actually apply to talk. Let's set up a podium, have this discussion. I mean, it, I can't, you know, just from following your passion, there are careers for that, you know? So for people who like to do this, guess what? There's a bigger, bigger, bigger platform for you to do anything. Okay. I think I should go now, <laughs> but thank you so much. And I had really fun, a lot of fun talking about this topic with you guys, but just know that you, whatever it is that you do, you're going to experience pain, but which direction do you want to go with that pain? You rather have growing pains, right? To be better. Oh, I know. I know we've been following each other for a while, too. You got to watch the replay. I know. Thank you, Universal Truth. Or the pain of regret. Which one is more painful? Which one would you rather have? And I'm telling you, once you surpass, like, what you thought wasn't possible, it just gets addicting. At that point, you're going to be like, you know what? Fear. Bring it on. Personal growth. Bring it on. Uncomfortability. Bring it on. Because you know that after you uh, you went over that hill, it's you're just like you. It's just another different experience. So you don't you wouldn't know what I'm talking about until you experience it yourself. And then all of a sudden you're inspired, and you're just kind of like, what else can I overcome? Because public speaking is the number one fear, right? Number seven is what death. <laughs> is that crazy? So Periscope is. I was just meeting up with one of my business partners, and I said, you know, I. I know that Periscope might not be for some people, but the personal growth that I'm experiencing on here, I feel more confident. Every time when I come up here, I'm announcing who I am. So you're putting it out there to the universe to attract it to you. And look at all these hearts. It's it's just so encouraging. There is a huge supportive um, family here. Of course, there's trolls, but guess what? In life, there's trolls in life too. And what do you do? You just ignore them or you can block them, right? So... I highly recommend Periscope and you're not talking in front of a huge crowd. There's like a baby step, right? And you're just getting better and better. Yes. Yeah, sometimes when in the beginning, when I came on, I felt the pain of like, oh my gosh, I'm so uncomfortable here. No one, is anyone going to like me? But I kept on coming on every single day and look at all the love that I'm getting. And I'm just watching all the other people, right? How they're doing it. And they just, Quentin, hey, name twin on here. <laughs> I'm down for it, but I have to go now. So all my social media stuff is on my profile to find more about me. You can just click on all of them. If you go on um, Instagram, you can see what I'm all about. All right. Hi, but I got to go. So watch the replay, you guys. Thank you for hopping on. I really appreciate the support. I'm really here to inspire, connect. Of course, it's all about networking. You never know what can happen from that. Um, have a good day, you guys. I'm going to go to the gym now. Bye. Bye. Watch the replay. Thank you. I appreciate all you guys. Bye. Hi, replay viewers.